The idea of being shaken, Paul, his word, comes from a Greek word that concerns the tossing or the swelling of the sea. They were to be firm and fixed as if on dry land, not tossed about like a little boat on a raging sea. The apostles with Jesus could tell you all about that. They were scared out of their minds until Jesus said, calm, be still. And then they were okay with that, all right? They have set an example for us how scary that is, okay? But Paul is telling us not to be like that, not to be soon shaken. Don't be like somebody that's on a little boat out on the sea being tossed around. And I'll give you a perfect example of this. I brought it up a while ago with the last book that we used to read, is that the Moravians were on their way to America to make a new home, okay? And who was on that boat with the Moravians? John and Charles Wesley. And the boat was being very, very heavily pummeled. And the Wesleys were scared out of their minds because they had no hope of salvation in Christ. They were going to be missionaries in Georgia and they didn't know the Lord as Savior. So the Moravians, what are they doing? They're up on the deck praising the Lord, thanking the Lord, almost having a party. And what John Wesley said, Charlie Garrett paraphrase, whatever they got, I want. That was their object lesson to him, not to be soon shaken in mind. When you have the hope of Jesus and you have the surety of your salvation, not being led astray by false teachers of the end times events, you don't need to worry. You do not need to worry. And that is what Paul is trying to tell you. You are okay in Christ. You don't need to worry about anything affecting your salvation or you being left behind because that's, you know, the day of Christ has come. He's going to say that. You don't need to worry about those things. You are in Christ. He's got you. Don't be shaken, okay? Such a claim could be by spirit, Paul's words. This would be a supposed prophetic utterance by someone in a Christian setting. It would be a claim to divine revelation. Note, this is Charlie Garrett's note to you. Today we have the word of God. It's written, we have the timeline, we have all we need. We do not need, nor will we receive such a word of prophetic utterance. If you think you're getting prophetic utterances by turning on the TV and watching somebody claiming stuff, fine. You're not, but you can think that all you want. Nobody's stopping you from doing that. We have the word, the timeline is given, the prophecies have been given, everything we need to know about Jesus Christ is available. We live now by faith. That's it. We live by faith and not by sight. Hearing comes, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Yes. 